Hello and welcome to another TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week with me, Mr. Barton. Now, I am declaring it here that 2017 is the year of the spider. If when we come to the end of 2017 and I do my review of my 10 favorite resources, I'll tell you now, if spiders aren't up there, it has been the best year ever for resource, math resources because they are flipping brilliant. I've already featured one a while ago on Resource of the Week, but I could not resist featuring this one because, whew, well, wait till you see it. Now, it has been uploaded by one of Tez Maths all-time great um, authors and god this guy he just keeps producing the goods and this one whew, and look at that at the time of recording this has been downloaded 830 times that is a crime people need to get recording this because it is out of this world now i've built this up loads it's probably going to be an anticlimax now but i'm feeling pretty confident um it consists of a single powerpoint file uh, which you can download and it looks like this now it's set up exactly the same way as all the other spider resources and if you haven't seen these these cover expanding brackets negative numbers all kinds of stuff but i think there's something a bit special about the treatment of averages here so here's how it works you get a five number data set in the center there but one of the numbers is missing and you have to come up with um, a number that's going to make each of those statements true so what number needs to go in this box here so that then the five numbers have a range of four and so on so in this first spider We've got the classic thing where we're flipping out averages backwards. And we, we see this a lot. It's one thing, students being able to work out the mean of five numbers. It's a completely different skill than being told that the mean is five and having to figure out what those numbers could have been. So really, really, really important skill. Now, fair enough, this has been covered by other resources, but I really like the treatment of it here. And it's a great way to introduce students to backwards averages. I love that. Is there more than one answer for some questions? Which of these don't, don't have a unique solution? Fantastic opportunity for discovery. And um, look at this. You get the answers. That's, oh, I always absolutely love that on Tez. So already I'm thinking I'm loving this resource, but well, then it gets better and better and better. Look at this. We now get a six number uh, data series here with two of the numbers missing. Now this has increased the challenge. This time is the more than one answer. This for me gets down the line of purposeful practice and anyone who's heard me kind of chat over the last God knows how long will know I'm a little bit obsessed when it comes to purposeful practice because what this means here is that, okay, students can practice the basics of these averages. They can practice the basics of backwards averages. But then when they start to consider this is the more than one answer. That's when they can start to be systematic with their with their listening. That's when they start to, can start to come up with mathematical arguments, reasoning why things are the case, why things aren't the case, and so on. That's what I'm a huge fan of, purposeful practice. And I think this resource is great for that. And look, there again, you've got the answers and really, really, really nice um, kind of ways. And you can see already we've got complicated things here. We've really upped the difficulty. So now I know what you're thinking. Surely this resource can't get any better. Wait, wait to see this. So now we have um, <clears throat> a another six data six <laughs> i hope if i could speak six item data set but this time we've got two numbers missing but now we've got two conditions so we've got to make a mean of 6.5 and a range of nine or we've got to make a median of 3.5 and a mean of 4.5 so look at this and again is there more than one answer for some of the questions really 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 challenging stuff for the students and then when you think it couldn't get any better, we then revert back to the four number series, which you think maybe this is easier, but it's not at all now because again, we've got two conditions for a lot of these. We again can start to look to generalize. We can start to be thinking about this purposeful practice. Just absolutely lovely stuff. And again, full answers provided. As I say, 2017, I'm naming it now the year of the spider. I don't think I've seen a more versatile, engaging math resource for years and years and years. I absolutely love it. And this one on averages and range for good, purposeful practice after the kids have learned the basics, I just think is wonderful. So thank you to my hero, one of my all-time heroes of math resources. I hope you enjoy this one. And download this, download all the spiders, get using them, get coming back on this page, sharing your reviews and so on. And I will return with a fresh resource of the week next week. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.